Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Sebastian from Tech Century and welcome to this new video. Today I want to show you how you can fix battery drain issues on your Samsung smartphone caused by Google Play services. Now before we get started, what were the issues that I was experiencing? Well, for a month I've been battling with terrible battery life on my Galaxy S10 and when taking a look at the battery strats, I quickly noticed that Google Play services basically ate my phone's battery alive with taking up to 20 to 30% of battery consumption per charge, resulting in an empty battery after only three hours of screen on time and a phone that constantly felt warm to the touch, like something was constantly running in the background. But let's actually get to the solution. So step number one, go into the settings, then to apps, Google Play services, force stop the app, then go to storage and delete the app cache. Then step number two, restart your phone. I know it sounds weird, but it really helped in my case and without the restart, it didn't solve the issue. Then optional, wipe the system cache on your phone. Since this process is slightly different on every smartphone, you'll find the instructions for the Galaxy S10 in the video description. For other smartphone models, you'll find that on Google very easily. Now this should fix the battery drain issues caused by Google Play services. However, in my case, this is not a permanent fix and I need to repeat these steps from time to time when the drain returns. I'm currently averaging around 2-5% to battery usage by Google Play services and getting up to 5 hours of screen on time on my Exynos version of the Galaxy S10. Now here are some other possible fixes that didn't work in my case but might work in yours. Turning off Google Play Protect in the App Store. Turning off or decreasing the location accuracy, however this was also interfering with geotagging for the camera in my case. Turning off always on display disabling apps from accessing the screen content or enabling a power saving mode. So these were the solutions that I was able to find and please leave in the comments below if one of these fixes worked for you. If you have an additional suggestion that I wasn't able to figure out, please also leave them below to help other viewers. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and check out my other content here on the channel as well. See you next time.